Okay, but so when when did you start getting your whole face tattooed? Uh, I got like a couple before I went to prison. I had like three. I had the roly crown, then I had the spotty face, the dead homie name, spotty face on her, and then I got the the thirsty drips, cause 'cause I'm a thirsty crip on mm-hmm. her. Them only three I had, and then I just went to jail, cause and I just like on some. I feel like I was never really getting out, cause I took six. I was just on some young. I was like, cause that's I'm not finna get out. It's just a long time, bro. Damn, I feel like life to me. Yeah, on dead homie. So I'm like, cause that's what it is. Fuck it. So I'm like, I just start getting tattoos and I'm. Reception. Right. Mm-mm. So you just got locked up and you're just not even thinking about the future because you're just. Yeah, bro. Jail is his own world. Jail is like a different world, bro. When you in there, like you tapping in and certain, every time you tap into the streets and you hear some all that shit, do it just stress you out. Who do you just drop the loose song? Or who do you doing this? Or this was going on. This that going to stress you out. Like, I need to get to the streets. Right. So I really don't even be trying to just focus on too much of the street because I'm the dead homie. I'm just going to be stressed the fuck out. So jail is his own world. You got to really focus on what the fuck is going on in here. Yeah, people who talking to fall in this dorm. Who did bunk and what? Who and have to get on, like, focus on what the fuck is going on in here, bro. People told me it's not, it, it doesn't, it's almost worse when you have a phone because then you're watching everybody's Instagram stories and shit and you're just kind of getting annoyed and angry at the fact that you're not able to participate in all this cool shit, right? It's worse, but then it's kind of better, cuz, on a dead home, he's has pros and cons having a phone, cuz, that, yeah, you're gonna miss the streets and all that type of shit. But then, cuz, on a dead homies, cuz, can't no play with you, cuz, if you got no phone. Cuz, be lying, cuz, on a dead homies, be lying, cause I'm doing this. I'm right here. I'm right here. Mm-hmm. Damn, you got that phone, cause you can't play on the dead homies. Yeah, I'm popping up on you. What you doing? So I'm good. Right. Great. But then at the same time, you might be just laying there in your bed, driving yourself crazy, looking at the phone all day, right? Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. I was a phone bender in jail too, bro. Really? The dead homies. Hell yeah. I was, I'm on the phone. I come out for the yard for unlock or two, depending on who the fuck I hear. Show my face, Nate. But I'm out of here, dead homies. I'm back in the cell. On the Crip. phone. On the phone. <laughs> just staring dead at homies. it all day. Dead homies. Dead homies. Bust it open, crit. I, I was on like a reality show set the other day, and so I had to film shit, but in between, I had like an hour or two to just nothing, and I'm just like looking at Twitter and Instagram for like two hours straight, and I'm just thinking like, this is what it would be like if I was locked up, because I would just be looking at Twitter and fucking Instagram all Hell day. Yeah. But then shit, you can't do that though, because you will fucking get caught, because I done got mm-hmm. caught on some phones too. Because you got to be low-key about it, huh? Hell yeah, you got to be low-key. Nigga, I done got caught on some phones, bro. That shit, 91 days, bro, no get back. What, so. 91 days in solitary or? Nah, just they gonna add 91 days to your motherfucking, oh. to your sentence, girl, and you can't get that time back. Damn. So you're gonna lose it. You're gonna, you're gonna lose a phone. Your points finna go up and you finna get 91 days, girl. So it's cool having a phone, but you better, you better be, you better accept what, what comes with it. You get caught with that motherfucker. Right. A lot of niggas ain't. And that's why some niggas be. What made you decide you wanted to get the HK in your face? This feels like that's a big decision. Yeah, cause on the dead homies. Because, well, I had a big, I had a big brother from over there. Hmm. On gang, I had a big brother from over there. His name was Dante. My family, before we moved to the hood, cause we stayed on 79th and Hoover, cause over there on the day with my whole family. And like I said, my big brother's from over there. And cause one night he was walking to go get some weed, and then uh, cause I ended up getting smoked, cause on the day of homies. So when my brother got smoked on crib, my mama walked outside, like seen on the day of homies, like cut chest smoking on the day, of, like the whole little shit, like seen her son dead, bro, on the day of homies. So like, like fuck my mom up. I don't crib fucked her up, and that's why she started like really been in the streets more, and really like start on her. I was like two years old, so from right, from when that happened, we st- we moved from right there, seventy nine, to the hood on the day homies. A nigga been growing up in the hood, ever since, cuz on the hood. But like I said, cuz when uh, when uh, when that happened, that shit fucked my mama up, cuz seeing her son die on her, that shit fucked her up on the day homies. Then the nigga that did it, cuz on the day homies, he was already got banged out forty, already got life force so like, on hood. What's a nigga from Snoopville? On hood. So he got I, sentenced for killing your brother? Yeah, Cal already got sentenced for you. I banged out for you. He's already on hood. So niggas on the dead homies. But Cal's from Hoochies, Cal. That did it. On hood. On the dead homies. But, all right, Cal. So I had a big auntie, Cal. My big auntie from the hood. She was the first one I got put on the hood on the dead homies. She was already from the hood. And she had like a sweater, I guess. This the family. This is the story the family told me. She had a sweater with clovers and shit on it, Cal. On the dead homies. And my brother, Cal, was going to go get some weed. So Cal, throw the sweater on. On a day homies late night on some cold shit, just a regular sweater, but they got clovers and shit on. But I do the same shower, H S, I wear all type of enemy hats too. So Cub just on some throwing a sweater on type shit. Mm. On Crip going to go get some weed up over there. And some niggas from Hoover's Cub, but a, but a different part of the Hoover's Cub. My brother's from 74. I guess some niggas from 50s put up on Cubs on Hood and just seen the clovers. Like, oh, you finna die on a day homie, whatever they said. Hopped out on a day homie, smoke up. Crip, my mama seen it. Day homie spiral in the streets on Crip. So yeah, I hate Hoochie's Cubs on some gang banging shit on a day homies, but. This shit hit different with me, cuz, with the Snoochie, bro. They caused, like, emotional damage to, like, my, my family, cuz, type shit. I never even got a chance to meet my brother, bro, on Crip, cuz, I was two years old. So when I say on, it's HK hit different on Crip. Right. Yeah, homies. 
My HK, my HK hit different. There's a lot of people who say that shit just because they're from. Yeah, they just saying it. There's a lot of people who are saying that shit. They never even. Ain't never even on a dead homies, bro. Squabble no nigga from over there. Ain't never sh- popped on no nigga from over there. Ain't never po- ain't did nothing to no nigga from over there. They just saying it because it's cool, you know, on a dead homies just on crib. When you think about it, when you from your environment, bro, we was taught to say fuck over there before I even knew what the fuck one of them niggas even looked like. I just right. see my big brother do it. Oh, fuck Snoop. Oh, fuck Snoop. And then little kids saying it. So on a damn, that's what a lot of people be doing, bro. Just, oh, fuck Snoop and really doing all that. But if they see, it's real, it's real niggas from over there too, though, bro. On a dead homie, nigga been in county jail. Niggas, niggas from Snoop O's whacked out. All that shit too. They ready too on a dead homie. So you saying all that shit when you go in that county jail, be ready, cuz. But when you're locked up, you're probably like having conversations and getting to know people from Hoover. No, yeah, hell yeah, bro. On the dead homie, bro. No matter where you from, cuz certain type of niggas, if you a certain type of nigga, y'all gonna always, y'all gonna always, you know, connect. Real type of niggas from everywhere connect. So it don't matter just cuz they're op on hood. It's like I said, it's real niggas from over there too. But That's could you be cool with them outside of the jail situation? I don't know, cuz. I don't know, on the dead homies. It's niggas from niggas that I was cool with cuz in prison that was really like my boys type shit on the dead homies. And just based off that, when I see you on the street, I won't smoke you cuz. But mm-hmm. I wouldn't just chill with you though on the dead homies because you still from Snoop, bro. I'm hood. But you, you my boy cuz. Nigga ain't gonna feel on the dead homies. Just for you, just for that, on the, I'm not gonna smoke you cuz. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't chill with you though. Like I rem- I've had conversations about the whole peace treaty conversation with people. And the one thing that a few people have made perfectly clear is that if you wanna talk about peace in LA, is 60s and Hoover's, that's the one split that would have to be fixed. And then you can kind of talk about everybody else starting to get along more or whatever, but that's like the primary gang war in L.A. Do, could you imagine peace? No, nah, I wouldn't say that's the, I don't know, because we go at it with the Hoochies more than them, because on the dead homies, they be more like on the A-Trades, so okay, I really right. like the 40s and the Hoover's really like more like on the dead homies go at it with that. Then the Hoover's then on the dead. Six, so they, they be on them too, but I feel like they be more like on the A-Trades. Could, could you imagine peace in L.A.? Or Hell no. It's just way too deep. Yeah, it's been too, you know, too much bloodshed, cuz. Too much shit to happen, bro, on the dead homies. Niggas and lost brothers, cousins, mamas and lost sons. It's like too many tears and hell no. Too many years. It's gonna stay up like this, cuz. Right. Uh-huh. And I saw when you were doing the uh, street news interview or whatever that mm-hmm. he's basically like, you, you said the, the, the Hoover gang diss or whatever, and then mm-hmm. he, he kind of like was trying to give you an out to like get you to. To yeah. not say that on his platform because yeah. it kind of makes him look a little bit crazy if he got a young dude just saying that shit without him saying anything, and you made it perfectly clear like, no, nah, I'm saying it. Like I'm not, yeah, I'm man. not worried Cub about that. on the dead homies, bro. Cubby to do his research on me, bro. I'm, crip. I'm not finna nice it up on no type of platform, bro. On uh, hub, you, it's hoochie, so what? Uh, hoochie, fuck them niggas. But you don't bring too much of it into the music. I feel yeah, like, nah, right? nah. I got smarter cut with that cut dead homies. They got smarter with that. Just more subliminals now. Mm. More subliminals on game. Is that because you just don't want to make anybody famous, or is it more like you're just trying to avoid certain level of beef getting to a certain because point? He, or? Uh, no, not that, cuz. Nigga want everybody to listen to the music, cuz. No matter, cuz, where you from. I just want everybody to listen to it. So I'm going to say more subliminals than if I say this, if I say hoochies, or, even though they, shit, Ops was still playing this, the song that I was saying with the, with the dissing shit, but that's not like a, a go-to song like in a car type shit. That's just on some listen to it. Like, look, look what this nigga saying type shit. That's not no song you can really like listen to type shit. Mm-hmm. On gang, so I want to make song you can really like listen to and enjoy and really. So I'm, I, I say it's subliminal because I don't want to diss nobody. Uh, right. Because I know I'm not going to be listening to no song that got fucked up in it. <laughs> right. On Crips. So I want the next person to have that type of. Definitely. You know, 